our main concern in this module would be reconstruction that was also topic of our previous module but this time this reconstruction rethinking i mean about gender would be seen through the lens of peer cultures what are peer cultures i would like to uh, compare it with community or practice idea that we discussed in feminist linguistics so there we called it community of practice it's almost the same thing but see because we are talking about these things now from a different point of view in a different discipline that is socio cultural anthropology so that's why different terms are being used so you won't feel that the same things or same ideas are being repeated every time we discuss these things from the point of view of a different discipline so you will see the things are being talked about by using different terminology that is not repetition now how peer cultures are developed and how they reconstruct our gender schools are the first place where same sex play groups uniforms etc are maintained and you all are familiar with this practice this separation creates peer cultures the same sex groups they learn different norms of interaction speech styles behaviors and ultimately their world views also start becoming different because they uh, girls for example they remain among girls the boys remain among boys they would never interact with each other so definitely they would learn the habits the behaviors the styles of their group one result of these male and female cultures is segregation this is another term for separation segregation what happens when we keep them apart from each other the result is intercultural miscommunication now we would discuss what is it when people don't know each other's style of talk and norms which they follow during talk so definitely when they would talk with each other they would misunderstand each other this is called intercultural miscommunication but this miscommunication depends on the context of segregation where it happens different cultures define segregation differently we have to keep in mind when we talk about this segregation see this task would further illuminate my point share some activities in your campus campus may be school campus may be college campus may be university this term is used for all educational institutes so even you have virtual campus like virtual universities campus so share some activities in your campus or workplace where mixed sex activities that means where people of both sexes interact with each other talk with each other where these activities are allowed and where partially are fully disallowed another task is in your view up to what level same sex education can be allowed we have so many uh, co-ed schools or uh, female only schools or male only schools same happens with universities even these days in pakistan we have female exclusive universities so what is your point of view to what level of education same sex education can be allowed discuss with reference to sociology what sociology says about it what islam says about it and what developmental psychology says about it developmental psychology deals with our development 
physical development mental development so this is developmental psychology but and there are some demands which are natural part of our development so what developmental psychology says about it take help from electronic and print print resources to do this task now continuing the same topic the gender separation causes learning of different ways of talking which are differently interpreted because you remain within your own peer culture there are least chances of interaction so in your group you learn their speech styles their ways of interpreting others and the other group learns differently their uh, ways of talk and ways of interpretation boys and girls are uh, in other words men and women when they are adults are usually unaware of this difference difference in understanding each other's talk uh, i would uh, recall about our talk in uh, sociolinguistics when we talked about uh, views of uh, cameron and views of uh, tannen and ox they all talked about these things uh, you can recall these things from those modules but segregation our separation is not essential in every culture i said there is separation there is segregation in certain activities it is allowed in certain activities it is not allowed in certain activities it is moderately or partially allowed it varies from culture to culture so whenever we talk about separation or segregation we have to keep in mind of which culture are we talking about but segregation or separation is not essential in every culture for learning gender specific communication styles even without that we can have gender specific speech styles in the western culture the learning happens when persons of both genders interact in races for example they can be separate there would be separate race of males and separate of females but in marathons they would be together in cricketing they would play separately but in theatrical performance people from both sexes can take part in plays in dramas etc sometimes it is social institution like family school clubs and sometimes it is personal choice to be in a separate or mixed group so sometimes culture or society blocks us to remain within our peer group or peer culture and sometimes it is our own personal liking that we want to be part of another peer culture so gender difference is constructed through family socialization to conclude it we started with family and uh, we came up to peer culture and uh, along with this we talked about construction then deconstruction through desire then reconstruction so to sum it up gender difference is constructed through family socialization then deconstructed through personal choices and then reconstructed through socialization in new context it is not fully clear so far researchers say that whether gender is constructed by choice or imposed by society no clear cut opinion is yet available on this issue